Bluebone trematode infections are caused by trematodes. Trematodes are parasitic worms, also known as flatworms or flukes, that can live inside a host's body and cause diseases. Two of the most common are clonarchiasis and fasciolysis, which can enter the body orally through ingestion of raw meat or fish that is infected by the trematodes. Symptoms include fever and inflammation, but vary and worsen by the phases of infection, leading to destruction of organ membranes or entire organs. Reinfection is common, and both clonarchiasis and fasciolysis may become chronic conditions. Seeking and taking the effective and available treatment are necessary in order to eradicate the disease. Drinking from a contaminated water source containing flukes or eating raw fish that has ingested adult flukes or eggs can easily lead to ingestion of the eggs. The eggs hatch and mature into cysts. These cysts can then hatch in the intestines. These hatched worms produce more eggs, leading to infections and completing the life cycle of foodborne trematodes. People who eat more crustaceans, raw fish, and raw meat are most at risk of foodborne trematode infections. Some areas affected by these infections include East and Southeast Asia, Central and South America, and Africa. More than 40 million people are affected worldwide. In Southeast Asia, my family and I live in a region near water. My mother typically makes a fish-based meal at least five times a week because fish is readily available to us fresh from the market. I noticed that the fish she cooked tonight was a little undercooked. We did not think it was a big deal, but after four weeks, we all started to have some fever-like symptoms, nausea, skin rashes, as well as some stomach swelling. We went to the local clinic because we were not sure what was wrong. We were then diagnosed with clonarchiasis, which is the infection with the liver fluke, Clonarchus sinensis. Thankfully, we found out before the chronic phase of the disease. Serious symptoms would have included eyes and skin turning yellow, and anemia, a condition caused by lack of oxygen in the bloodstream. The clinic then contacted other health organizations and hospitals nearby to make sure waste and feces, which are possible sources of eggs and cysts, were not contaminating other food and water sources in our neighborhood. They then contacted WHO, who was able to give out free triclobendazole treatment in my particular area. WHO distributes free triclobendazole to countries like Bolivia, Georgia, Madagascar, Peru, Vietnam, and Yemen. The treatment helped us get better within a week with a single dosage. If the disease had relapsed, we would have needed a second dosage by doctor's prescription. We now make sure to cook our fish completely and have advertised the importance of ensuring the absence of flukes within our community in the hopes to prevent another case of foodborne trematode infection with other families. I am from a small village far from the metropolitan where I grew up in a family of farmers. We're not wealthy enough to afford meat at times, but we often manage to produce a big meal with a variety of vegetables. Our regular dinner consists of a big feast of water plants that we proudly grow ourselves right next to our free-range pigsty in a nearby river, which is our main source of water. One night, my family and I started experiencing high fevers and extreme stomach pain. We thought we had simply gotten food poisoning, so we decided not to see a doctor and tried to wait for the symptoms to disappear. Months passed and the symptoms worsened. Some of us started to experience liver pain, fatigue, and loss of strength when working on the farms. We traveled to the city for the hospitals because we realized that what we were experiencing had not only affected our health but also our daily productivity. The doctors diagnosed us with chronic fasciolysis, which was caused by parasitic flatworms that commonly infect plants in a contaminated water source from pig feces. We received triclobendazole, which treats both short and long-term phases of foodborne infections. In addition to the oral medication we were receiving, we also had to have our stool samples checked regularly until no more larvae were present. Here we list the official WHO recommended treatment for each foodborne infection, praziquantel and triclobendazole. Although we are listing them here, we do not recommend self-medication. Everyone should consult a medical professional to determine a treatment that would best work for them. 
the WHO may donate medications to some areas of certain countries, so be sure to inquire your doctors about it. Foodborne trematode infections can greatly decrease the social well-being and health of affected individuals. The infections can be easily contracted through consumption of contaminated food or water source. Although raw food cuisines are deeply rooted in some cultures of many countries at risk of foodborne trematodiases, it is important to cook meat and fish products completely and adequately when the source of ingredients is unknown, and drink water from clean water sources to prevent ingesting eggs or cysts of trematodes. Spreading awareness about which known contaminated food sources to avoid, necessary changes in culinary methods, and signs of early symptoms are all ways to help you and your community 